here i am making a small short video for you to just explain the laboratory experiment you know the things that will be required for the different study of antenna properties uh, using in our laboratory uh, experiments so i'll just simply extra explain this the a few things related to our laboratory experiment where we need to study different antenna properties using polar chart right so i will in short in brief i will discuss the different antenna properties and the polar chart right how to what are the things that we need to plot and how to plot so there are several type of antenna in our laboratory experiment like we have this simple dipole antenna so folded dipole antenna folded dipole antenna and uh, other kind of antennas like yagi uda antenna log periodic antenna so there are several uh, kind of antennas that will be using in our laboratory also horn antenna is there so in all these experiments so uh, we need to study the few properties of these antennas like the properties will be like gain these are the antenna properties gain directivity radiation resistance and uh, HPPW oh, uh, yes efficiency of an antenna or antenna efficiency so there are etc there are several other antenna properties also but for our for the sake of our, our laboratory experiment we will try to evaluate we generally will evaluate the gain and uh, the HP, HPBW, right? So HPBW is your half power beam width, half power beam width, beam, beam width. You know this, I'm taking this beam, sometimes people used to confuse that this BW, they confuse by the term bandwidth. But this is not bandwidth, this is BW stands for beam width and not it is not bandwidth right so try to remember this one so in the next part uh, uh, let, her, let us see how uh, we will you know uh, before that let me tell you the gain will be like front lobe gain front lobe or a uh, back lobe gain back lobe gain so this lobe is what this if suppose you are having an antenna you know like simple dipole antenna like this so antennas the propagation and direction of propagation will be always perpendicular to the plane of the antenna so if is, this is the structure of your dipole antenna where you feed certain power into it so this is your input port so antenna you know power will be radiated throughout the space space so the radiation pattern of this dipole antenna will be like this so it will have a front lobe it will have also back lobe the so property of this simple dipole this is for the case of simple dipole antenna in case of simple dipole antenna the radiation pattern will be like this also commonly known as figure of 8 you know see that it looks like 8 you know if you reverse it it will look like 8 so commonly known as figure of 8 why this term is used because this antenna used to have two different lobes in that one at the front direction and another is the back lobe this one is your front lobe this is your since it is in the front side of the antenna so we call this as front lobe and this is in the back side of antenna this is your back lobe so what we need to see that this is this direction we consider as zero degree if we consider zero degree this is your 90 degree this is your 180 degree this is your 270 degree and this is again or zero degree or 360 degree so you can cover if you if you can cover full 360 degree like this so zero degree is your front side 180 degree is your uh, back side so this is something you used to remember and as you can see from the figure the radiation will be directed in the front side and the back side only so in this side there will be no radiation so that is the reason why the plot is like this the radiation will be in the front direction and the back direction but no uh, radiation pattern in the uh, you know uh, in this side in the 90 degree that is perpendicular to the axis of the antenna in this side and in this side there will be no radiation will be found 270 degree so this is the general properties of this antenna now let us see how by how using this polar chart how to plot a different characteristic of this antenna now see here i have drawn a simple representative figure of the polar chart so this is is your polar chart how it look like right so this is your polar chart how it look like i have drawn a simple representation of this polar chart 
so you can find in your what is the difference difference is that here i have taken a difference of 45 degree in all direction it is here zero degree i have taken a difference of 45 degree 90 degree just for the sake because it is if i draw it by taking 10 degree or 5 degree difference the figure will become clumsy in the board so that is the reason why i have taken a 45 degree difference so this is the figure of the polar chart which we will require to plot our different antenna properties right so let me first explain the what the graph first okay so this this is your orientation i mean this is the angular orientation of this polar chart i mean if you put the antenna at the middle of the center of this polar chart and if you rotate the antenna like this so you can rotate from starting from 0 degree to 360 degree again you can rotate full or this 0 degree or also it can be 360 degree you can very easily understand that so this can the antenna can rotate throughout the 360 degree or even if the antenna is fixed at the center then in which direction in which angle how much uh, radiation is occurring that we can measure by this polar chart now for our consideration we will there are few things that we will measure well, as i said this one the primary thing that is this gain another thing is hbbw right and also one ratio is there that we will measure that uh, okay that is very simple let me first discuss what is gain i mean how to plot gain using this polar chart so polar chart you can plot the gain you can see this x is here is 0 7 14 21 35 that is real so that means this zero it is a difference of seven i mean from here to here i am considering that there is a uh, you know that some difference from 21 to 35 that is 14 so 14 uh, number of uh, points are there so you can also take that if this is as 28 let us make this since i'm taking by difference of seven so apart from uh, you know taking this 35 let us consider this as 28 so in your original graph you may see that another circle is there which uh, is denoted by 35 so exactly the same thing it depends on how much gain that we require now let me explain what is happening while now we are putting to this is your simple dipole antenna or the figure of simple dipole antenna which i have just you know uh, mentioned this is your input side and the radiation will occur from this side so now so if this, this is the figure of this antenna we will simply put the antenna like this here so as you can see just take this antenna and put it at the center so the antenna will be like this oriented will be like this so from this direction as i said just said that the direction of propagation will be like this and in this side so this is your front side in zero degree this is your uh, back side which is in 180 degree right so and this 0 7 14 21 28 is actually the gain gain of the system that means how much gain is there in your laboratory setup you can find that uh, you put one uh, transmitting antenna like this and in front of the transmitting antenna you put a receiving antenna like this so this is your antenna 1 a1 this is your antenna 2 so this antenna is your transmitting section this is your receiving section so from transmitting section the signal is being transmitted and then receiving section signal is received now here also you can find the you know when we study when the receiver section it we usually take by micro ampere as much as i remember so this is micro amp in terms of micro ampere you will that so ampere is a unit of current so suppose you are getting there is one deflection i mean one reading will be there scale will be there it will give you the reading in case of front as we go on rotating the antenna is like this so if we go on rotating the antenna like this it will give you different uh, readings at the receiving section uh, so suppose the micro ampere value in zero degree when the antenna is fixed like this in zero degree in a straight orientation so suppose you are getting around 45 around 45 micro ampere so you have to convert it into uh, db scale right in logarithmic scale so you use simply formula 20 log of that 45 so whatever value will come will come this value will be in the scale of db so around 33 near about 33 might come so you will see that this is the value that is converted this micro 45 micrometer is being transmitted to 33 db near about whatever value you calculate by using calculator whatever value comes that is your value now to plot the gain as i said that the radiation pattern will be like this so first zero degree suppose we are getting the maximum gain why maximum gain because these are uh, in at front of each other facing to i mean this transmitting and receiving antenna are facing each other 
so this will be zero degree we will get suppose we are getting a value here which value suppose i'm taking that it is getting 26 26 db right so this scale is in db scale that you have to notice that this axis is db i mean logarithmic axis so if this is 26 db come you plot it here so after that you constantly rotate the antenna like this and you rotate through full 360 degree you have to rotate by taking a difference of 10 degree right so you can rotate by 10 degree so whatever the value comes you plot it here i mean in value in db right so whatever the value comes you put the point plot the point like this and also the points will come like this and in the back direction also the points will come like this okay so this is the now you join the all the all the points from zero degree as we go on rotating from zero degree so you get a figure like this this is the plot of the simple dipole antenna this kind of plot you will get right so if this antenna is like this you are getting maximum gain now if the antenna is rotated like this this receiving orientation of receiving antenna is fixed but this antenna has rotated so that means in this side as i said that in case of 90 degree there is no direction i mean the antenna if the antenna orientation is like this the signal will be radiated in the upward side but the receiving antenna is placed at the right side that is 90 degree to this orientation so this receiving antenna will uh, you know receive no signal so that is why at 90 degree you are getting no value zero so you can measure it also you will get zero but again if we continuously start rotating again so as i said that it, this antenna will also rotate in the back side so generally or gradually this back uh, power back side power will come or appear in the micro emitter in the receiver section so this is, will be the plot now gain is you have to measure gain so what is the gain the gain will be two kind of gains can be there one is front loop gain one is back loop gain in case of front loop this is your front loop so front loop gain you can measure front loop gain or maximum maximum front loop gain this is the maximum value that you obtain suppose you have obtained 26 so that will be equal to 26 db so this is your maximum front loop gain simply at zero degree whatever value get you get so that is your maximum uh, front loop gain and another thing is maximum back loop gain back loop gain so that will be the maximum value of the back loop that is in 180 degree whatever value you got that will be the if it is 26 again so you write it 26 db and the is the ratio you find it the ratio you can find out the ratio between front loop and back loop gain another thing is that hpbw this is important as i said this is half power beam width so this half power beam width means that half power is signifies that 3 db i mean i can i will explain you later that why this half power is represented by 3 db but for the for the sake of now we will just know that the half power means 3 db so 3 db down means half power beam means we have to come 3 db down suppose we have got here the value is 26 as i said front lobe gain so from 26 db we have come we have to come down 3 db come down i am using the term down that means we have to come down towards this side so this is the value where the value is reducing so we will come down towards here and suppose here we are getting some value like in this part suppose we are getting a value like this here in 23 right so this will be your point so 3 db down from the 26 db right so this is your point so from this point you cut you draw a straight line or sometimes we use this curvature line also but let us now draw for the sake of our discussion we are going to understand this first then we will study about the different aspects so first so you just draw a straight line then the straight line from this point 3 db point will cut at two points here and here so you from the origin you join this point and this point now whatever be the angle that will be is equal to your HPBW. Suppose this angle is 45, so you will simply write 45 degree is your HPBW. Now this significance of this HPBW is actually that how much power is radiated at uh, by that particular antenna in the front direction with the 3 dB power or the how much considering half power of the antenna, how much power is being radiated at the front direction. So this is the type technique by which you used to, uh, I mean we used to plot the polar chart by use the polar you used to use the polar chart for plotting different antenna properties. So uh, this is the thing I wish I needed to discuss then and the detailed part if you, I mean we will discuss in the laboratory itself, right.